Panthers, this is Harry Reynolds. We're here to bring you Suds Hockey nonstop action for the fourth time this year. Harry, are you Can't excited? Wait. Oh, absolutely. We're about, what, is going to be a third away through the season? Nobody's I mean, broken a bone. Nobody's tore their ACL. Nobody's gone nuts and, and, and snapped a ligament. What more could you ask for, you know? Well, we don't have insurance, so this has been all I could ask for. And, and I, by, by God, I'm excited for the fact that we get to see more of this. We might get a full 12 game season out of this. It's, it's even like it. And I'm beyond stoked. Uh, so, this year, uh, not this year, this week. Shit, this week we got RJ, Ty, and Coops yep. versus Scott, Jesse, and Zach. Yeah, what I mean, are you pretty, pretty well rounded teams. Um, all of them can pretty much do the same thing. I mean, I, I feel like it's going to be a hard fought battle. Yep. It's going to be a good solid, you know. Three periods of sunset. How do you think the boys on both sides who were on Team Red last week are going to recover from the bloodbath that was Game 3? That was pretty rough to watch. I didn't let my little one at home watch that game. It's going to be tough. Um, guys are, I mean, a lot of them are vets, right? But does you it know. take a hit at the momentum? It might. Your it confidence. Might. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of these guys, third year in the league, I think they're going to be able to kind of leave that one in the past and kind of just focus on what they got on hand coming up here. Well, let's hope so, because I know this 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 uh, season, Zach is 1-3. 1-3. 3-0-3. Three, oh three. Huh? Three, oh How many games have we played? This will be the fourth. I'm... Listen, so I believe you're looking for 0-3. Oh I've been doing very good yeah. with my drinking. This season, my man. It's true, I was an algebra one three years in a row. That's not a, that's not a lie. One, two, three, three weeks. Zachary Creed hasn't won a game. Ty Reese Nelson hasn't won, won a game. game. Uh, Jesse McIntosh has lost one. Hasn't lost a game. So coming into this, you got one guy who hasn't won. One guy who hasn't lost. The other guy hasn't won one time in his career on Team Red. That is insane. I mean, someone's going to add a win somewhere to their column. And they're, they're going to be a stat. Well, I got for, for confidence sake, I fucking hope it's Tyrese Nelson. I do, too. He's and got I mean, RJ on his team. He's a human highlight reel. He's got Coops, who's been phenomenal in goal this year. I'm, I'm pulling for Team Red here. I think, I, I, think I, think it, it, I think it'd be a little upset even with RJ there. I mean, you know, I want to see kind of Ty come out and kind of attack a little bit more. Absolutely. I know Jesse's been playing all around phenomenal game. The fact that he hasn't lost shows that he is somewhat of an, a, a big impact on his team. Absolutely. Uh, and he's got Scott on his team, but I do know Scott's getting a little flustered with the fact that we got this young kid in here just gunning goal after goal after goal. So that, that MVP race is already starting to look a little, uh, a little tight, weighted on one side, tight. I think, yeah. So, uh, hey, a love chitter chatter, enough gib gab. It's about time we bring you on down to the ice. Yeah, bring it on to, to it. season four. Let's get to it. Take it away, uh, Ziggy Collins. I'm here with Ty. How are you feeling after game three? You've been roughed up a lot throughout the throughout the series. Uh, how's the body feeling going into game four? Honestly, I mean, I'm pretty banged up, but I feel like I'm holding my own. Um, I mean, I know other people may not think that. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty banged up on my shoulder, my side. I'm just doing what I can to get out there and get into action and stuff, but it's just not working out for me. I mean, there's Scott, there's, there's RJ, there's Jesse. They're all pretty big dudes. And I mean, I'm only but so big. I can't, I can't do much, but I'm, you know, trying to do what I can do on my team. And, it's a physical game out there. Yeah. But remember what they always say. You can take the dog out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the motherfucking dog. Back to you, Bob. All right. Thank you, Ziggy. That was quite the interview there from uh, Tyree Snelson. Tyree Snelson had a little bit of trouble this year, huh? Harry? Yeah, absolutely. Kind of having trouble staying on his feet. Kind of. We thought we didn't see him taking the body a little bit more, but uh, I guess not. All right, point battle. Looking at that, 35 to 38 in points. RJ gives 31 and seven. 31 goals, seven assists. What do you What do you think about that there? Uh, I mean, incredible in the goal stat. Um, but you never really want to see 
You're assessing the uh, single foul. I want to see more. I want to see more all Absolutely. around. 38 goals on the, his career, nine assists. Not good enough for me. You got to spread that shit even. And look at him trying to dangle right out the gate. Falls right on his ass. Nobody touches him. You can even hear Scott kind of chirping at him already, telling him, hey, stop being so fancy. Bro. I believe every time these boys are going to see each other, it's going to get even chippier. I tell oh, you absolutely. That. Right there, net was off, hit the post. No goal for you, RJ. I'm sorry. Ref waves it off. Zach with a shot. Spinorama shot, actually. Nice finesse. Puts it right on point, but saved by, Z by uh, Austin Kubiak there, right on those nice shins. Now, uh, Harry there, why does he wear, why do you think he wears those tights? Uh, you know, I think it's just the, so the white, I was kind of thinking, is he trying to blend in a little bit? Is he just trying to preserve the legs for what he can? Absolutely. Um, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure why he does it. Does he just, is it just help kind of keep, you know, everything structured? Oh, it's not helping him here. Look at that man, is manhandling him. Pushing him down. Oh, a stick check for big measure. He's yelling at the ref a little bit there, but he's not going to get a call there, Harry. A big shot from Jesse, blocked by RJ into the corner. RJ looking for somebody to pass it to. He's got two big walls in front of him. And my money would have been that he doesn't pass at all and just shoots. And, and uh, hey, hey. I'll tell you what, I'm, going, took that back. I'm going to hit the slots later, Harry. All right, one nothing team red. Six minutes, a little over six minutes left in your first period. We're gonna see Ty dropping the net here. We'll see how that works out for these guys. And RJ just takes a oh, soft yeah. shot, goes right past Scott. There. A rip of a backhand. Uh, Austin Kubiak letting us know that that was indeed a goal. Uh, clearly, he didn't hear the goal horn. Very weird. Face off yet again. Deja vu. Groundhog Day. Push over by Koobs on to Jesse. Scott with a shovel pass intercepted by Koobs and a nice shove by Koobs in fact there as well. Looking to make a screen there. Zach passes it to absolutely nobody. Passed it right to RJ, which was not the move I don't think. You had Jesse in the top corner. Scott wasn't an option, but you had Jesse open. Bank it off the boards. Do something to get it out. You just give it to the, the, the hot hand of the red yeah, team. Yeah, definitely not the move to go for, especially when you just got your uh, goal of just being screened. Yeah, and now you're, and now you're down, uh, down now you're down a tricycle. So it, what are you going to do to really make this work? Ball out of play. It is, a, it is a nice, it, it is a nice, uh, nice start for red team here. Let's see if they can kind of keep the momentum up. And you know the way they're doing it, I believe they can. There's no offensive pressure from Team Blue here. A big hit. As I say that from Scott, I, I don't necessarily know where that came from or why he did that. Uh, he's gonna get a little bit of a receipt there from Coops. Coops throwing a, a, a couple extras into the fence. A little scrum in the, it is in the getting, corner here. It is getting busy. A royal rambal, as I should say. Oh, oh my, my god. god! What the hell was that? And that's oh. gonna end up a goal. Did you see the little man pop out from under the garage and completely <laughs> murk RJ Gibbs in the shins? Definitely got him there. Someone put a bounty on that man's head, and I believe the Wicked Witch of the West just came and collected that bounty. Oh, man. Jesse! Executing the opportunity there. Putting his team back on. A nice backhand, a nice save by Ty. Nice uh, little dump down by RJ there. But God, you gotta be feeling feeling kind of like an idiot. There Two on one here. Yeah, what can you do? You're Score your, another one, I your guess. Your team has to come back to help you. He wasn't getting help. Oh! A little bit of chirping back and forth. We'll see where this goes. Ty leaving the net open. Hey, it worked out for him. You kind of see that from RJ a bit. He does like to work the puck back to the goalie off the You hear, you hear Scott yelling at Zach, why are you here? Right exactly where he is standing. Not in a good position for a goal. Not a good position for a pass. They're cluttered up once more. You see Scott kind of letting them know. A big hit from the ass of Jesse on a tie. Good ball control from RJ, but a bad shot by RJ. 
just and missed. Gets, yeah, didn't have a chance to settle down there. Nice save by Scott there, and a nice clear. Dump the puck. Dump and chase, the old Buffalo Sabres move. We knew that didn't really work so well. All right, here we go. So separation, a good shot, a good slide from a veteran player, Jesse Frankowiak. He knows when the ball's on his stick, what he has to do. It's that veteran presence, like you said, in the pregame there, Harry. It's Absolutely. like you said, the man's 4-0. Oh, he's looking to make it 5-0. Oh. I'm drunk again. It's three games, Bob. Learn the fucking game system schematics, Bob. We're in game four. He's 3-0, Harry. Yeah, yeah, you're last three three and and oh. right, so we'll, we'll in it. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, Uno, dos, tres. Game cuatro. There you go, Bob. Oh. Two minutes left. 2.07 left if you're being a real pencil pusher. Uh, team Red up 4-2. Zach with a nice backhand. Oh, one on one against Tyrese Nelson says, hey, I'll learn from my mistakes. Well, pick pocket and uh, score there. Here, Tyler even saying, my bad. Yeah, but that's all right. You know, what are you going to do, I guess? Absolutely. Another face-off from RJ here for Team Red. Another win by RJ. A dunk from Team Blue. Jesse trying to capitalize on that. A nice shot from Coops. If I was a liar, that was wide as hell. Yeah, I think he was trying to be more of a pass, but I think he just had a little bit too much juice on that. In this league, you can't predict for the water. I don't blame anybody for absolutely ridiculous passes. Now that's a nice pass right there from Zach over to Scott, Scott over to Jesse. Jesse in the corner with Ty, two on one, and it's broken up a big fight by RJ and Zach. Scott coming to help. And they are going back and forth. Nobody's in Team Blue's net. And he's all oh, And oh, a little bit of, a little bit of D there. Scott didn't like that. You see him yelling at the refs. That's... Oh man, this game is getting ugly. This game is getting vulgar. The profanity, all of it. Anything in the robots, robot books about uh, hey, a bag and pop. Oh uh, no! All right, uh, fair play then. And especially if you look in the camera like he did, and really keep it the fun. Absolutely. A high dunk from Ty. Somehow landed back in. You know, which would have ended up as a penalty, but what would you rather have? A penalty or a exactly. goal? Exactly. I was going to see. I could see the uh, argument for a penalty there, but I think they're not going to complain. Well, that's going to be the end of the first period. And we're keeping it close to 5 4 here, Harry. Yeah, not kind of what I thought this would end at with the way this started, but hey. All right. Welcome you to our fourth game, first period intermission report brought to you by Hawkins Driving Academy. Uh, if you're looking for anywhere to learn how to drive, whether it be traffic circles, maybe doing any kind of nitro circusy stuff, but that's skilled driving that's going to be involved. The only way to learn how to become a better driver is to go to Hoffman's. Absolutely. That's how I learned how to drive. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first game intermission, first period. What are you, what are you thinking, Harry? What are your um, thoughts so far? Five, four, team red. RJ Gibbs, five goals. He's the only one scoring yeah, goals. Only yeah, only one. Uh, back and forth game, though. Um, but, but yeah, it is all RJ on Team Red. Ty, pretty silent. Uh, the only thing I, I can note with Coobs, really, is that the man's just a presence as far as throwing the body. Five yeah, hits. Absolutely. Um, so... What what uh, what do you gotta do to improve the lead? What do you gotta do to because blue had more shots? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think that speaks pretty much for what you gotta do. I think you gotta kind of spread the wealth a little bit. I think you gotta look for more opportunities from other people. Um, in, in and this team, just get more. Yeah, these two teams, you're gonna have to just put the puck on the net. Yeah, absolutely. This is a fireworks show. These these two teams so far haven't been a combination, and so far they've been. Uh, delivering. Yeah, this is, this is probably the most well balanced period we've kind of seen. Um, starting off, boys are going hard, and literally, it's just you can't really say anything. Kept out of the box. Um, couple falls on Team Red, but didn't really see uh, Blue capitalize on that. So I'm, I'm excited what period two is coming. With oh us. yes. Uh, speaking about delivery too, 
If you want hot and ready delivery, and you want lightning fast speeds when it comes to bringing your pizza to your doorstep, and it being so good and so saucy, you're going to head on down to Macy's Place Pizzeria over there on Genesee Street in Chittawaga. I'll tell you what, they swing and they don't miss. New location coming soon, too. That's true. That's true. We'll get you details for that next week. And uh, for now, we'll get you back down onto the ice for our second game, uh, fourth game. Second period. Two plus two is four. Uno, dos, tres. Fourth game, second period. We'll see you out there. Five, five to four. All right, we're back. Five, four. Team Red. Scott versus Coombs for the faceoff. Let's see if these boys aired out any of their grievances in between the uh, intermission here. RJ with it. Again, no pressure being put on him. Takes a shot, hits the garage. A shot by Scott, hits the fence. But a nice bounce off and rebound and shot from Zach to put it in to tie the teams at five. And it looks like RJ was just a little stunned there. Just didn't really kind of play the puck at all. Just kind of stood there and said, let me, uh, let me see if I can just save it like this. I mean, if he was taking shades of LeBron, he's, he's doing pretty good. All offense, no defense, you know what I'm saying? And there's another snipe by Jesse again. That reminded me a little bit of the old Mariani long shot there. Eh? Absolutely. Good to see it still being brought into play, seeing that it hasn't been figured out. Definitely missing this it this year, but hey, Jesse's like, I got you guys. Face off again. One by Coops this time. Jesse with it in the corner. Zach with a shovel. Scott with a shot. Finally a good save by RJ. RJ dumps it on over. Out of bounds. A little bit of a ping pong match we have in the second period. Here. Absolutely. Just back and forth, back and forth. Someone's going to explode. For the first time, Team Blue has the lead. This is good to see. We'll see how long it lasts. I, I don't believe with these two teams that this, this lead's going to stay this way. Oh, oh, that was a nice soft pass, too. Soft as butter. That's what you want to see, too. You want to see it nice and soft, getting over to you. A lot of these guys aren't expecting the pass to even make it through with the water. Absolutely. And when you float one over like that, it's very upsetting to see it not go through. There's RJ kind of fighting for it there. Um, defense was kind of a little weird there. I mean... Zach could at least gave Jesse the heads up that he had RJ right on his back, but I mean, hey, little mistakes, you're still tied. Jesse was a little, just a little relaxed there, he even admitted it, a little slouchy. But, uh, let's see what happens. These boys are getting a little stiff. And I'm telling you, it's taking me out of being stiff. Sure is. Oh, yeah. All right. Clapper of a shot. That ball went sky high, Harry. All right, Zach with it again. Floats it on over to Scott. Scott tries to bring it back to Zach. Zach brings it back over to him. Nice breakups by RJ there, but the puck's still going to stay down here. They're, 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 good. they're having a good offensive presence there. They're, they're getting the puck in there. They're having good chemistry as far as the passing goes. Coops tries to dangle it around Jesse, but it's not going to work. Two on one. one. Trying to get it down. There it is. <laughs> no. No, his stick. Scott's stick hit him right in the face, Harry. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a sport. What a good guy. You know, yeah, at least he's checking him over, he's making sure he's got all his teeth. You I'll know? tell you what, I'll be the first to admit that man is one of the dirtiest players I've ever seen in the SHL. Absolutely. He's spearing people in the dick. He's shoving his stick in people's asses. He's doing things your mother wouldn't even want to watch. True. But when he feels he actually hurt someone, that man is first one to go and look. Yep. Face off. One by Team Blue. A two on one, a shot, a block by RJ, a shot by RJ, and a block by Jesse. A, ooh, a big shove by Coops. Jesse going right into the garage. The ball getting lost in the swamp. A little rough today, but hey, the boys are still working with it. It's looking like Jesse is, or er, uh, Zach, I'm sorry, should, he's he's figuring out RJ's moves. He's figuring out a way to maybe dipsy doodle it around. That's what I'm seeing as well. But phenomenal passing like that by, by Coombs there to put it on RJ's stick. RJ just couldn't execute the shot. Oh, they're getting Another chances shot. after chances Great just save. to not bury. 
Alright, All right. play ensues. Oh, a oh. big save! What a scoring chance by Team Red! Ride that wave. <laughs> Phenomenal defensive awareness to put his stick on the ice right at the opportune time to stop that ball. Keeping his team in the lead. 3.30 left in the second that, period. That could really make a difference. We'll have to see what kind Ooh. of end that. Almost a great shot. Oh, oh, not my. a toe save. Another shot, another oh, save by RJ. Another save. The man, oh, fucking hand, hand pass. Hand pass is crazy. I hate it. Play on. But uh, by golly, if you oh, don't, uh, and that's karma. Karma. bad karma. You play dirty Ooh. and you break the rules of the SHL, it's going to bring it back. Yep. And prevent you from any cheating kids you may have yourself. Absolutely. And okay, I was about to say here that an incredible rally. And I think here. I you know, look at that. Just as I said, if if Scott's catching you cheating, that man will he's cheat gonna, himself. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna get you. Go back and watch, I promise you, rewind this video, you will see Scott take his stick and shove it right up the testes of RJ Gibbs. Yep, bing and bong. He said, no, you're not getting away with it. You use your hands. I use my stick. All right. Chirping again, 7-7. Seven, seven. Ball in the blue zone. Jesse with it. Tries to shoot it around RJ, but it doesn't work. Big hit on RJ, though. Like red team started the first period on all cylinders, and now they're playing more in of an uh, adaptive two-man defensive game here. Absolutely. I, I wonder how this is going to work. It slowed the game down. It's not as exciting as far as fireworks go, but they're, the lead isn't getting away from it. Oh, oh. Oh. This man, every game, puts up a highlight that could be in the top ten this year. Absolutely disgusting. It might just be all him. In the, in the he did one of them obstacles you see the hamsters go through during the COVID shutdowns. Oh, yeah. That was phenomenal. Oh, oh God. Right. Call the Nets mother. Have it come. Tell him it's in the ICU. Oh, my. Look at that thing. It's in pieces. Right. I, I don't even know what to say on that. The smoke, I don't even know how, how Scott's touching that net. That thing is, a, it's got to be quite behind. On fuego! Roger. Here we go. Gone up two goals now. These boys, as we were saying, the pressure wasn't enough. They weren't putting it on. They go, hey, hold up. That, that looked intentional as shit. And then he throws it out of play. You had two phenomenal goals, you put your team up, and now you may cost your team as you're going to the sin bin, my friend. Oh, here we go. RJ, one minute. There it is. There it is. Goes. It's not minutes. what you like to see right at the end of the game. Absolutely period. not. I do know when when Scott and Zach are together, it's a deadly power play. Oh, absolutely. You that. Here we go. They already start with the passing. Good save by Coobs and a nice dump by Coobs. Clear that time, get that penalty out of Oh, that's such on a... What do you do? That's a travesty. It's a two-on-one. Oh, ah! A lot of stuff to unpack here, Harry. Yeah, absolutely. First off, Coobs, not a juggler. Confirmed. Absolutely not. Two. Jesse just started War on America. And it's probably one of the greatest distractions I've ever seen for a power play in my life. Absolutely. I'm from Manitoba. Let it rain down. That's all I'm saying. Hey, but all I know is I've seen Coops in his car before games preparing and getting ready to go by blaring Toby Keith's US of A red, white, and blue. Put a foot in your ass. That is one thing I actually did not know about the game. And I think they may have just broke that man. We're going to see you in the third period. Welcome back to your second period intermission report brought to you once again by Hoffman's Driving Academy. Uh, Harry. <laughs> what do you the thinking? Clippers got you between one and two, two and three? I don't know. Um, what am I thinking? Uh, this game shouldn't be this close. I think, personally. I think Red takes took too many penalties that period. 
luckily, they kind of built enough of a lead to kind of cushion what came from those penalties. I mean, it's just a one goal lead. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying before that. Happened, nine though, eight. You know what I mean? Nine eight. You took one penalty. It cost you a goal. Uh, blue team right now. Working really well together as far as chemistry goes. Absolutely. Uh, when that power play came, they were passing, passing, passing. So good. Um, both teams throwing the body. Um, Absolutely. Um, a lot more shots that period, too. So it kind of looks like maybe they did listen in to kind of just get more pucks on that, and that's kind of what happened here. That is true. Uh, I'm favoring Team Red still right now. Yeah. RJ Gibbs can't be stopped. I still believe he is the only goal scorer on Team Red. Which is incredible. Um, I still want to see them kind of a little share a little bit more. Cycle the puck. Yeah, you know? exactly. Just cycle it. Look at what Blue is doing with the passes. Put the ball in the washing that. machine. It yes. Hit cycle. There you, you go. Know? Little spin cycle. Little spin cycle. I love it. Um, speaking of which, speaking of RJ Gibbs, I want to talk about the uh, Walden collision and paint. Crunch of the game. Crunch of the game, yep. Take a look at this, folks. I'm putting my vote in. RJ Gibbs, crunch of the game. Take a look at this thing. I think I know where we're going. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, my God. Nobody even touched it. Look at that ball. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was tough. Woo! Yeah, so that guy, he's going to win for sure, that one. Uh, But, uh... Enough talk, enough chit chat. This game is so goddamn close. We don't want to waste yeah, any time. I want to get right back into it. Let's fucking dive in there. I know the boys are ready. They're on the ice right now. My beard's falling off. I gotta fix this thing. Let's take it to you. Game period three. Put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. There's Uncle Sick. Oh, hey. Uh, 9 8, Team Red. Start of your third period. Welcome back, folks. Eight to nine, nine to eight, whatever Chester Perez wants to say it is. Here we go. Two on, uh, that might have been two on two, turned into a two on one. Uh, well, some nice oh, yeah. looks like we're going to start out with a RJ Gibbs goal. Hey, he said, I'm sorry for the power play. My bad. Let me show you some of my all-star skills competition that I played on Shell 98 one time. And I'll do a little joystick to the left, joystick to the right, backhanded it. We get another face off win there and try to throw it down. We're getting a little dirty in the corner here. I'll tell you what, I've seen one thing here, and that is relentlessness by by uh, Jesse. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. His legs have just been churning this game. He is. It, it, throwing the body. Oh, what oh, happened there? Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, another one. Oh. Holy shit. What happened to Coobs there? I'm Nobody was there. not quite sure here. Who are you going to call? Because uh, we might got a Slimer or something out there. Yeah. Uh, is it Ghostbusters? Hey, uh, that was the answer, yes. Okay, all right. You know, I heard, heard Slimy for some reason. Uh, I was thinking Flubber, RIP. Is that a fucking dog here? Oh! Backhand goal by Scott Howard. 9-11. Never forget. Six. Where was the whistle there, though? That whistle came early. I'm a little confused, and I think the red team is as well. I think Chester Perez just anticipates greatness whenever you see it on Scott's stick in the red zone. Uh, fair enough. I thought maybe he was just drinking enough to remember Steve, but... Hey. Well, I, hey, I can confirm. I've been down there. I talked to Chester a little bit. He is completely shit-hammered. Well, God bless him. Uh, absolutely. Oh yeah, there it is. Down two goals, Team Blue in the red zone. Scott asking for a dump by Jesse. A weird bounce oh, off the wood. A phenomenal recovery. Yeah, ends up finding exactly where the puck is and look what happened. That. that could have been completely disastrous. Completely. And Jesse was like, no, no quit. Jesse not, got not the, here. the head down into the game and found a way to get the puck up there. And Zach said, hey, I'll finish before you, pal. Absolutely. He said, blackout before I tap out, bitch. And he passed that ball off the wall. Zach said, hey, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm going to pick it back up. I'm going to put it in the net. Nice block there. Keep the ball in the zone. Scott with a shot. 
little wide. Ooh, a little bit of a slip there as well. It's got to be something about that side of the ice, I suppose. That is the worst swamp I've seen yet. This Oh, absolutely. In this slope. Uh-oh. No call. Like you're gonna let that one go oh, off. Time oh. is a chance. He ha he has so many, so many chances. A name I haven't been saying enough in this game. Tyrese Nelson hasn't shown any sort of presence in this game, and that's. I am no. That's a that's a penalty all day, RJ Gibbs. Put that in. Here, here it is. is. Absolutely, he's got it right. Chir Chiro Perez, Chirez. Oh, look at him. He's he is not happy going. I think it's Scott made a pull a little bit of a uh, Aaron Rodgers Cam Newton situation. I think so. I, oh, he's chirping from the box. I'm telling you, I saw that all day. Woo! Oh. There it is. Not really much of that shot. Would have floated, but he knew just where to put it. Story of the game here, Harry. Stay out of the box. Absolutely. You've just cost your team two goals between him and RJ going into that box. All because of foolish delay of game penalties. Yep, you just can't let that happen. Keep the puck on the ice. Oh, nice shove by Scott over the boards. You don't see that often, RJ getting leveled like that. Oh, a big fall himself. I'm trying to find it here. Nice shot. They maybe a little bit of. Oh, God, jeez. You're gonna kill a man like that. And like I, I said, out of the play. like I said, we don't have insurance, so these boys have all signed liability contracts where they can't do shit if something happens. Exactly. Hey, you're on your own, pal. And by God, do I not want to see it happen? But by the looks of it, the more this game keeps getting like that, we're we're doing. Nice shot from Scott there. Takes it all by himself. Fights off the two boys. Puts it in net. Brings Team Blue back up. 12-11. Not too much time left here. You got about three minutes, Team Red. They gotta go. They gotta push. Oh, nice save by Jesse. A nice another save one. by Jesse. A nice save one. by Jesse. And a nice dump also. Phenomenal dumper, that Jesse. Oh, no. Oh, uh oh. You hate to see that. Hey, grab mine. Grab mine. So, let me get this straight, Harry. Scott scores. Coombs gets pissed. Breaks his stick out of frustration. Scoots, dirtiest player in the game, offers him a new stick. Yeah, exactly. So, I think what you were trying to say there, 3.7 plus 4.8 equals sportsmanship. 27.9. And sportsmanship. And sportsmanship. Square. Clear, 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 clear. Oh, here we go. Clear. A little bit of, oh, phenomenal oh, awareness. Really, yeah, exactly. I was about to say, really oh, clear. No, no. It keeps leading to more opportunities. These boys have just gone from tie game to up three goals. Yeah, just blew the barn doors off of this. Uh, I even saw uh, Austin was really looking to hit the stick again, and I think he's like, wait a minute, about not mine. Thought about it. Don't want to pay for this. You know what he just did? You know what the team blue just did? After what you taught me, a huge fall from Scott. No one touched him. Is he okay? I don't know, and I don't care. They just went up. Uno, dos, tres, Harry. Hey, let's see if we can make it quattro. Oh, nope, not happening. Because he's like, hey, I know whose stick this is. I know who's touched this stick. This is a two-time MVP right there. I feel the magic. Alakazam, boom, now I'm magical. Boom, right out of the hand. That man just pots in his first goal of the game. Took three periods, damn near. We got a minute left. Finally, these boys are waking up. They put the K-Cup in the Keurig. Now they just got to mix it up and drink it, and it looks like they're starting. Big hits from Koobs. Big hits from Ty. Ty's throwing the body. Look at him shoving Zach away. A good save, save by RJ. RJ. RJ's taking a back seat, it seems, trying to maybe get some kind of momentum going for his team. Going around the net again, stays on his feet this time. Dumps it on over, it almost goes in the net. A save by Zach. Zach. Finally, give the Jets. Oh. Jesse a little wide. They're going to get another opportunity here, it looks like. He's wide open. Ah, uh, there it is. Had he came in a little too high there and slid right to the swap. You got the one, two, John Stamos. Uncle frickin' Jesse, baby. I, I picked up on that link. Uh, my bad there. 
It's okay. I didn't plan it. All right. 22 seconds left. You're down three goals. Do we got any hope for this team? Uh, no. Holy oh shit. Oh, my God. Laser Why can't beam. that guy do that when he's taking a shot at the net? The one-on-one? -on -one? A big oh, save. That says absolutely oh. not. Shove With a little bit of a shove there. And that's it. Three, that's it. two, yep. one. I'm not going to get that second shot off. Team Blue runs away with this one. And look at that. Screaming at the top of his lungs. You heard him. Jesse, 4-0. Absolutely phenomenal. Jesse, player of the game. Oh, absolutely. I want an interview with that man right now. Stat. Ziggy Collins. I'm here with the undefeated this season, Jesse. How are you feeling after a competitive game of the year type game in week four? I'm feeling super good, man. I'm just glad to get back out here for the new season. You know, win a couple games, show the boys what I got for this season. Best season yet. Absolutely. Do you feel like you've staked your claim to the MVP throne so far through four weeks? Mm, not yet, but I think I'll get there. I know RJ and Scott are probably up there in points, uh, but I think if I just keep getting the W's, uh, we'll see what happens, man. Just got to focus more on points. Hey, great job this season. Before we go, in sync or Backstreet Boys? Backstreet Boys. Absolutely. This is Ziggy Collins signing off. Back to you, Bob. God damn, can you believe it? I, I couldn't. We Jesse both is a Backstreet Boys fan. Oh, I didn't even know we were going to go there. And sink all the way, the old bye, 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 baby. You can't beat it. Check yourself before you wreck yourself there, Jesse. Uh, but no, as far as the game, fireworks. Oh, my fucking mustache flew off. I was so yeah. goddamn excited. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there's no sense trying to grow it back. Every period I grow it back, there's no point. Uh, 15 to 12, Team Blue. They ran away with it. You had, what was it, 12 points between Wait. all three of those men? No, actually. Actually, no. we had you 16. You know my numbers. We had 16. That's incredible. Yeah, we had six from Scott, six from Zach, and Jesse coming in with another four. Absolutely incredible. 43 to 37 in shots. Yep. These boys unloaded. Uh, they left Tyrese Nelson a ghost. Absolutely unheard of. Double unheard every period. from anything this whole period. Coobs tried his best. He took the body a lot. I mean, you see the, sh the, the hits, 13 to 12. This game was short of a phenomenal WrestleMania match. These boys were Absolutely. throwing the body left and right. Yeah. And it seems like every time we try to tell Red Team to do something in the intermission, the Blue Team just does it better. That's, that's true. That's true. Uh, again, dumb face-offs. Yeah. Um, or... Penalties. Penalties. Yeah. Penalties. There dumb we go. penalties. Dumb penalties will get you every single time. Another dumb penalty, another delay game penalty from Coops, and it cost them a goal, and they just kept pouring it on after Yeah, that. you, you got to know when you got three veterans on the other side of the ice what's going to happen when, yeah. when they got their, the man advantage. Their you know? power play was 100% tonight, and they took and they took advantage, and, and they didn't let them stop knowing that they were there to stay. So... Phenomenal show in Team Blue. Jesse is putting in a hard candidate vote for, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but MVP, he's putting his ballot in. Yeah, I mean, this is, if you're going to look at a game, this is a good game to look at. The man was phenomenal in that every time there was like a little bit of scramble, his head was locked in yeah, on that Team ball. Blue, if, if each boy on Team Blue played that way every single game, this would be such a hard decision as far as oh, the end of the year. I, I'm I'm speechless as to how these boys worked as a well-oiled machine, and you know there were no cogs missing. So yeah, absolutely not. I, I've got nothing. I've got no bad words to say. Um, you know, it's it was good hockey. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm hoping we can kind of you know keep those cogs turning into week five. See what we can get. Week five should be fun. I I I'm not too sure who the commission is going to mix up next week. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten word on that one yet. But I'm, I'm heckin' excited. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, you might not be able to see it right now, but I, I'm pumped. I'm, yeah. I'm ready. If we can start it right now, then let's do it. But hey, I, we can't. I think we should put in a vote that, you know, you got Scott, you got RJ, two guys who are producing real well. Put the fucking kid on there. Put put RJ, put uh, Tyrese Nelson on that team. Yeah. See what happens. Maybe mix it up, show the vets still going, and just see if we can maybe challenge the two guys that are at the top right now. 
and pull him in. Yeah, and maybe maybe that's what the kid needs, you know? Maybe that'll light the fire maybe up. Maybe that's all he needs. And he just needs to be like, hey, you know what? I can be these guys too. Maybe, you know, it's either, you know, that I keep hearing he's got the dog in him. Uh, docs came in, they gave him an x-ray, and I actually have that x-ray. If you look right here, the dog is in him. Oh, wait, it might be over here. Uh, that that might be breaking hippo, what I just showed you right there, but yeah. you got to know that what you see in Ty is not what, what we've seen, and we know the potential that's in there, so the, the boy just got to pull the bark out, you know that's what I'm like, saying? Yeah, kids just got to take the muzzle off. So, hey, will he, will he not? Who knows? We're going to find out next week. Next week's game is going to come to you on Friday. You know why? Because I'll tell you why, Harry. Let me let me get something for just a second here, Harry. Because us boys here, we're we're in freaking Bill's country here, you know. We are. That and is I'll very tell you true. about one thing. The SHL, however, my dead body is gonna compete on Thursday night primetime football when the goddamn Buffalo Bills are gonna murder the Los Angeles Rams. Absolutely. Just Thursday night primetime him. football, I'm gonna be on my couch, I'm gonna be eating some corn chips, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sitting there with my feet up in my slippers. And I'm going to be rooting for the boys in blue and red going, Mafia! You know? Absolutely. So, that's the only time you'll see my Manitoba ass with a little bat to my hand. Absolutely. So, without further ado, we'll catch you next Friday, 7 o'clock p.m. Be there or be a loser your whole life. This is Bob Sanchez, Harry Reynolds, signing off.